I'll do it after. But yeah, some of these people are in the lobby. Hello, hello everyone and welcome to WR Season 14. We're here on F1 22 for console tier 6. We're in round 1 and we're heading to Brazil. I am a ESU main commentator for this season and join alongside me by Omi. If you remember yep. to unmute. Yep, hello everybody. What a way to start the season in Brazil, normally known as a season final, but it is going to kick our action off this season. Yeah, hopefully this will be a good race. Good one to start it off. Uh, yep. As well as that, most of the other console tiers, they're on Thursdays. So we've got first go of it. Yep, let's see how our one goes, tier six, let's see. And the field looks competitive. And obviously a amazing circuit to kick ourselves off with, with a lot of op overtaking opportunities. Yeah, I do not actually recognize any of the guys. Well, I do recognize, I think two, and that's it. Um, is in Mercedes LFR, former LFR driver actually, and I also recognise BRT Wolf from Bunga Racing Team as yep. they're uh, in other competitions. Yep, I've actually, I don't actually recognise anyone here except I think I've heard Owen, uh, who is in the Alfa Romeo, I think that's the only driver I might have seen before. Yeah, maybe have. I'm not too sure, but with the new season getting underway, 
hopefully we're gonna have a good championship battle. This is your WRD comms debut. This is my second race, as I was meant to be doing it last season. But hopefully we'll be good. Yep, so we're just gonna be waiting to get ourselves underway we're just gonna i think we're just waiting for uh i think a person or two and then we'll be getting ready yeah what well, we're in for we see to join again because for some reason we can't get francesco in so we're just waiting for him to be added first um but while we're waiting for all that your track starts f for Interlagos circuit 4.309 kilometers long. We're gonna have 36 laps wind here tonight. 15 corners overall, 10 to the left and four sorry, five to the right. Not four to the right. I can't quite. Kind of clockwise circuit. Not many of them on the calendar, but when you do get them, it throws you off a little bit. Lap record still held by Bottas set in 2018 at 10.54 so that should be easy to beat in qualifying at least it may be hard to beat due to the new aerodynamics of these cars in the race yep but tire compounds C4 through the C2 remember that's only if we get dry running in qualifying and the race so it could be wet it's known to be wet in brazil as it is well interlagos means between the two lakes yep weather could play a part into this race so it's going to be interesting to see what the weather does Yeah, weather could play a big part of it. Remember, in the likes of 2016, we had a very wet race. You had two, well, a good overtake by Max Verstappen going in towards turn three on the outside of Nico Rosberg. But then on the final turn, you had his big snap over steer and completely drifting it through the final turn onto the main straight. So... Is that going to happen today or are we just going to have some dry running and it will be maybe something like the 2022 season? No, yep, no, I do hope. Yeah, I do hope it is as entertaining though as the real life race is probably going to be even more entertaining knowing it is uh, F, uh, this isn't real life. So cannot wait. Yeah, hopefully we want to get running again. We still need to wait for Francisco. If not, we're going to have to get going. Yep. So we're just going to be waiting for him or we'll have to... Yeah, because we were meant yeah. to start at 8. It's now 16 minutes past. So we are just having to wait for everyone. At the moment. But as we have got crossplay for F122, last season was completely different. You had PC tiers, you had Xbox tiers, and you had PlayStation tiers. Now in season 14, you don't have that anymore. You only have the PC tiers, you have the uh, crossplay tiers from 1 to 7 and then you've got your xbox tiers from 8 i think it's down to 10 at the moment which is that assists if i'm right this is no assists so this should be good hopefully at least because as i remember from last season i was on ps yep. tier so 2 again. Yep, so we're getting ready now. Yeah, hopefully, yep, we're getting into it now. But as I was just saying, uh, last season, season 13, I was on PS Tier 2 and got a witness 
a Mexico race and it was pretty good. I do remember some of the drivers from it. Uh, Nails and then Lexa Corpuson, Raphael, Damage, Fury, all of them. And we still, actually, I've just noticed this. Oessi. He was in the Alpine in Tier 2 last season, so that's actually going to be one I do remember. Forgot about him. <laughs> yep, so I'm just waiting right now because we're almost ready to see what the weather is going to be like in this session. Yeah, something we're not used to as well. We don't have tasks here. So you can't just go on and check straight away. Yeah, it's a bit more of a surprise, which I like. Yeah, you get more surprise going into the race, but as well, if we are some of the drivers, we could probably get a weather report from them. But I don't think we're going to need that. Yep, the time are currently just ticking down. The first qualifying of the year. First qualifying of tier six. We're going to get underway now. And hopefully we'll have a good one. It is going to be dry at least for qualifying. But as I'm looking down the grid, how many dry? We have a full grid here tonight at least. Took us a while, yep. but we did get to it. Only 20 minutes late. But if I'm just looking on the grid. We have how many PS drivers? We we five PS to 15 Xbox. That is just level craziness. Considering WR was originally an Xbox league. But first one out of the pit, it looks to be Joseph down the pit lane and on to the track. Yeah. Second one out, Francisco. I think he may have hit the wall. Yeah, he's hit the wall and been teleported back on the track, spun it around again. I think that may have been a reset of the track as well. Yep, the interesting thing is about the first qualifying of the year, unless you like know the whole field, like where, which I only I think know one driver here, uh, but I actually don't have a clue at all where everyone is going to be uh, pace wise, so it's going to be interesting to find out in the first qualifying and then obviously the first race of the season. Yeah, but I'm going to go on board for this first lap in qualifying. Now we're heading down the street. DOS up in EOS being used, crossing the line in towards turn one. The Sten OS is breaking, getting on to the apex, is taking the second apex nice and clean. And on to the third, taking a whole load of curb there. And DOS up and down towards turn four. EOS also being used, breaking just after the 100 meter board keeping it within those white lines that is the exit of the track limits you need to stay within them if you want your lap to be valid in towards turn seven breaking very late in towards turn eight and he did invalidate that who is uh next on the track it's not sam it's not you know it's uh not for tally is that no it's actually a Haas, i think of Danny, so stay on board with him through turn 9 and towards 10, mostly a hairpin, some flashbacks of 2019 if you're an Albon fan, through here, but through turn 11 into the final breaking zone of the track in turn 12 and through 13, and in towards 14 with DRS open, just before 15, it's open 9, coming up to the line, staying right on the left-hand side of the track. It's going to be a 108.213 for the first lap of the year. 
Who else is going to be able to improve on that? I might. Owen's just starting his lap now. His teammate Joseph, he's already finishing his lap off because he invalidated Lewis. Is starting his. Well, so he's going to finish his already used already. Has he's dying at less than ten percent now? But DOS open staying on the left hand side. It's a 108, 313, exactly a tenth off. Yep, looking very close so far. One tenth exactly, and then trolley slots uh, five tenths behind, and he's currently in third with more laps to come. And it's she goes to the top of the table. That's the person I did think he was going to top here at the moment. It's a 107844. His teammate going a 109. Sorry, not 109, a 108.09 as well. Who was that? It was Sam. 8.355. I think everyone else is just crossing the line to finish the laps off as Bibbon goes with a 109.3. As Wolf gets a grid clear, grid penalty for a collision with Titan. Unfortunately, we do not have time to re to uh, get that looked at. Yep, uh, Owen slots into fourth place as well as the laps continue to come in. And then we had uh, Bibin um, doing his first lap on the mediums yeah. as well. Lewis just sitting on 109.005, I think that's an alpha tally. Uh, across the line, it's going to be OBS Farm, but he's starting his lap, and I think someone just finished it off. And it may have been Simple Rocks 1, it was then Rockle 108.613. Not a bad first lap, as that was not Jordan going into P2 with a 108.053. There's still more drivers crossing line, Alex. Point 372 and I think we've got a Mer that's coming into the pit lane and it's the two alpha males I think one of them may be coming in yeah yeah Owen seems to be coming into the pit lane at least I'm not too sure if Joseph is yet he is um working out who is next it would be that's not a worse got the Williams wrong colour I'm looking at uh, Lewis, he pulls into the pit lane. AVS, DRS open to the line. Let's see what he can do. Wait for it, wait for it. 13. 13. As well, who was that? It was Simba Ox. Simba Ox. Yep. 108.092. We're getting on to the second laps already in this session. Uh, yep, the Haas level. coming into the pit lane, Titan had invalidated his lap. I think one of the McLaren's is going slow. It's Alex and he may be out of fuel, but Hodge his teammate. He's only starting his lap now. I already got 16 viewers in the stream. Welcome, welcome all. Hodge starting his lap as well as an Aston Martin of Max, but we'll stay on board Hodge through Senna S's and in towards turn three, keeping on that curb. Remember, PS can ride the curbs a lot more than the Xbox platform can. So going through in towards turn four, breaking just after the 100 meter board, through five and in towards six, he keeping his foot on, breaking just at the 50 meter point and through seven in towards eight, keeping his foot on the brakes, getting back on the power early, staying in third gear, dropping up to fourth, fifth, keeping fifth, but dropping it back down to third for turn 10 and through turn 11. Easiest pace to spin, but then towards turn 12, the final breaking point, he's got his breaking point right, keeping the curb on the exit. And now there's a one to the line through 14, and now through 15, he's keeping his foot on the throttle. Turn a mile an hour down the street, and it's going to be a 108.158 as Max goes on to provisional pole, the 107.718. Fastest yep. time so far. Decent a full, lap. I mean, a full tenth up. Yep, very good lap, actually. Uh, more than decent, yeah. very good lap, I should say. Um, so, yeah, good lap by him. 
But I think there's still going to be more improvements and fast laps coming. Yeah, I see a and... lot more laps coming as Francesco coming up to the line. Can he improve? It's a 109. 061. I don't know if he had set a lap. He didn't actually. I've just looked back at the stream. He had not set a lap before. Xavier's fan goes a tenth faster than his previous best. Who's next? I think it's a. Uh, it's not you. Know, I think it's his teammate. So we're actually starting his lap. It's going to be an Alpha Mayo next. I don't think it was an improvement. I think it may have been a night lap. Had been. That Merc also on an out lap. Who is next? Ox on an out lap. Tarja also in. As well as an Aston Martin. Don't know who it is at the moment. I'll look back in a sec. Bevan. Was he just starting his lap though? I think he may have been. As a Haas coming into the pit lane. As Owen does finish his lap off up to the line. He goes P. Three with it, a 108.022, and I think Alex was just starting his lap there. As an Alpine and the work into the pits as well, it's gonna be a Ferrari next across the line. It's gonna be Rocco, and I don't think he is on a lap. He's not. That's an out lap. Yep, out lap for him. And uh, as that may have been. been Ultra. Ultra Titan. No, it was a uh, ABS fan coming to the pit. See, I think he may have blocked Joseph off a bit, but he does go P3 with a 108 exactly flat as Jizz just goes into provisional pole again with a 107.68. He is ramping those times up as Titan goes uh, P20 still for now as yeah, Bibbon. Yeah, he must have a spin. Yep. Yeah, yeah, you know, goes P9. It's going to be McLaren next. I think it's going to be Alex. He's going to come up to the line now with DRS open. Remember to stay within those track limits. It's still tight one there. But it's P3 with a 107, 878. He is only 2.1 tenths off provisional pole at the moment. It is going to be Rocco to finish his lap off now. Up to the line. Oh, he's actually not going to finish it off. That, that's disappointing. There's a white lap. Uh, that was... Who was that, actually? It was a deputy trolley. Just went 4.1 tenth faster up to P13. This grid is very close. You've got from P4 down to P15. So that's 11 drivers all within 4.4 tenths of each other and from the p4 down to p8 you've got them covered within one tenth as danny is on a night lap i think that is i don't i can't tell who it is at the moment crossing line and all that was a mclaren that's a fry coming next it's gonna be sam starting as like mclaren in the pit lane an Alpine next is going to be Francisco and he's going to uh, start his second lap. We've got less than six minutes left to go in the session now as Lewis pulls off into the pit lane. That would be Trolley. I think he's coming to the pit lane as well, which he is. Yep, the fast laps will start coming in now as we're getting into the end of this session. Currently, as it stands, as uh, Jordan's coming up to line, but he's coming into the pit, so he's invalidated. Oh, yes, he went into P9 with a 108 and 136. Both Aston Martins coming in there. I think Danny he is going to finish his lap off as he was on an out lap. And up to the line, yep. he's looking for a good time. It's going to be a 108. Zero, four, eight. But he's beaten again by Simba Rocks. He goes... P3 and then Harjay goes P3 in front of him 7.763 and a 7.862 who was that? I think that may have been Sam who just went uh, P11 with a 108 to 130 only 6 thousands ahead of P12 who is obviously at the moment 
is that Francesco and the pet lane? It is, so it's gonna be an off tally next. They're both on our laps. It's gonna get into the final lap soon. But remember, you can go out even after the two minute mark, 130 ish, I think is the last time you can really get out if you want, if you don't want to uh, use any of the OES. Yep, so uh, obviously the drivers don't want to rush the out laps either. So uh, they're gonna have to decide when to go. And obviously they need a good out lap and then be able to get a good lap in. As yeah, most drivers is pulling in the pit lane actually. McLaren, uh, it's now Tari next, but he's starting his lap as AVS. But Bibbin is already a tenth and a half off in the first sector through turn five and in towards six. Where is he going to put his breaking point after the 50 meter just on it? And through it's now, there is no break boards there, I think, so it's just off instinct. And in yep, towards so turn 10, there is no break boards here at all. You just have to guess it and go off your instinct for it. Yeah, 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 yeah you, have to, you have to hope that you don't get it wrong. Yeah. Been half tense up in the second sector. One to the line now, it's basically just a straight with DRS up. It's not, it's a straight, but it's not straight. Yeah. Makes sense. Yeah. <laughs> but up the line, it's going to be a 107.996 forward point. It was actually a 4 for 4 improvement on that. What can his teammate do now? I can get him quickly. He's actually down his time by 1.7 seconds. So that's not going to be a good lap for him. It's now for Mel also on an out lap. Yep, uh, so the drivers will start coming out because for their final lap soon so we can see some cars exiting the pit lane this is gonna get very tight at the end yeah as drivers such as joseph i think he's gonna get caught in traffic on the slap going through sector one hopefully he doesn't get the traffic though it's not what he's going to want but there is a house that may be able to stay out of the way for him which they are but in towards the end of sector one, he's 35 thousands up on his lap time. He is just Ooh, getting nice. through. Yep, as Harjay has a... a Harjay's damage is front wing, I think. How in the it? pit lane, he's crashed. He, in the pit lane, he's crashed. That's not going to be good for him. Well, that's ruined any last attempt. But, yep, that's damage to his front wing. That's ruined his last lap. The best he'll start is third, but I'm sure there's going to be more improvement, so he's definitely not going to start in third. Yeah, I don't think he's starting third at all. I think he's going to be beaten completely. Who is actually on a lap? I'm trying to get to it. As uh, trolley is he up on his time? I don't think he had been. But it is going to be Joseph's finishes lap off. He goes P4. It's a 107, 7, 8, 1. Who is next? It's gonna be an Aston Martin on an outlap, I think, unless it's Max, who actually is on an outlap. Alex on an outlap as well. Both Max on an outlap. I'm just trying to figure out who it is quickly. Like, who's next coming through the pack? Yeah. Uh, it's not an Alpha Male. I think it may be a Red Bull. Is that a Williams spun? Nope, it wasn't. But Simba is going to finish his lap off. Stay on board with him. He's already a tenth up in the second sector and come across the line. It's P3 to 107.720. He's going to be upset with that. Is he's two thousandths off max at the moment. It's an Alpine who goes into P8 strolly. 8 10th improvement on that. Who just crossed the line though? It's gonna get very intense. Here uh, was Rockle. He went P12. As Bibbin has retired in the pit lane. Qualifying yep. has ended now. Any laps you set are going to be your final ones. Trying to get onto the right Aston Martin. Watch for Max Power to the line. Can he take pole? Yes, he can. 
It is 107.365. Who is next? It's going to be Alex. He can only go P3718 of that. 2,000 ahead of um, Simba Rocks. That was exactly what Marcus' time was before he improved it. And just up to the line, it was only 7,000 up. He can't he take it. Out. Two and a half tenths up, and I think that was also Sam. He couldn't improve on his yep, time. Missed... Yep, uh, Jigs has missed that by half a tenth. As Titan, he goes P7, 107, 836. I can't get on with all these, but Jordan goes P3, 7.7. Sorry, not 7.7. 7.7. 6-7 as Francisco going to finish his lap off. I think this is down massively. It was so he's going to be starting last in this Astrology pose up in the pit lane and that is going to be qualifying over I think As Joseph also yep. pulls it in Qualifying done. Qualifying is over now as a uh, Oh, I've just seen his shot. Hojo's will disconnect on the pit exit. That is why he couldn't set another lap. The qualifying is now over. And Max has taken pole position. Yep, pole position by half a tenth. And it obviously does get close in these uh, in the last laps of qualifying. And it was close, but let's see then. Still... The, uh, the second place man has the inside line into one that uh, it always happens in real life as well so there's an opportunity for uh, him to get past into one so Max will need to be careful of that so it's going to be very intense going into the first corner of this racetrack which is the Senna S yeah as we've got the qualifying results Max on pole position the Australian man has set a 107.364 and then it's just Dutchman alongside him on the front row with Jordan and Alex on the second. And running out the rest of the top ten, Simba, Hoja, Joseph, Titan, Owen, and Bippin. And then the rest of your greatest trolley, Danny, Rockle, Wolf, Sam, Oesley, Yono, uh, Avias, Lewis, and Francisco. But we need to remember that Wolf does have a five place grid penalty. He's going to be starting P19. Who was that crash with? I think it may have been with AVS fan, if I remember correctly. No, it was with Titan, actually. Yep, so I don't believe there was a formation lap, if I remember correctly from the rules. Yeah, if I remember Unless correctly, I'm... there was no formation lap last season. Yep, so we're going to get straight into the action, as it looks overcast to me. Yeah, apparently there could be some weird mid race as well. Mm. Is it just That's me or those marshals are not standing on anything? It just looks uh, like darkness. It looks like they're standing on like some kind of uh, black thing, but yeah, uh, like some tarmac. black concrete. <laughs> it just—it looks like he's standing on nothing. Yeah, it kind of does. If um, uh, if. Uh, uh, obviously, if it's like a uh, uh, black, then it kind of feels like that underground is black. Yeah, um, just being the told. Air. I don't know who it is. Yeah, the air became it, black. The, yeah, I don't know who it is in chart, but if they could say it would also help me. Um, I don't know the name of Jack saying we in roughly ten laps in. Sorry, not ten, uh, seventeen. So we're gonna get to, towards the halfway point. Ah, uh, you're Titan, okay. Yeah, Titan and Charles saying we in roughly 17 laps in. We've got 10 seconds before we get going. Yeah, uh, the one good thing is without the formation lap, I think we get a good camera angle, don't we? Oh yeah, absolutely. <laughs> That's the only good thing about it. But I have to get straight into it as well. As we go to 1, 2, 3, 4 and five red lights are on and they're right and it's pedal of the metal and we're racing Brazil go 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 who's got the better start it looks like Max has got it Jizz has got a bad one and Simbo tries to go down the inside of turn one he hasn't got the position though but it looks like he did get it as there's contact in the back between many of them I can't exactly catch on to it really quickly though it was a 
Mercedes have just as that could call for a safety car. That is a massive crash on the second straight and it is a at least a VSC for now. I didn't get time yep. to speak there. Is that gonna be full safety car? It is. Safety car. Full. So Max got away well, he got the start, he was leading and then I think it was the chaos behind for second place as I think uh we had the Mercedes of uh, Giz wanting a wanting ride and that was uh, the thing that caused a bit of the chaos as he came back onto the racetrack through turn number two. Yeah, going through turn two, I think it was Jez, J and Jordan getting all tangled up there. And then they went off on the inside of turn three, just where uh, Max and Lewis went off last season, you need to remember that. And... <laughs> Then it was just chaotic between the two McLarens and the two houses and everyone else. Has anyone got damaged and gonna have to pit? We'll see now as I forget to turn some of these back on. But as we're on the safety car conditions, that'll give me a little bit of a wick. So we'll see the tyres uh, as Sam and Titan pull off into the pit lane. As well as Hard J. So they're gonna be on different tyres now as the only the pull mount started on the mediums and then Simba and Joseph and Hards, uh, P Ford 6 on mediums, Bibbin starting the Hards, 8 to 11 on mediums, OVS fan on Hards, Lewis Jez and Danny on mediums, Jordan and Hards, Titan and Sam and I gone on to mediums as well as Hard Jay is on to the softs. So he's taking a different approach to this. Yep, so some drivers deciding to come in to the pits for uh, medium for uh, Titan and Sam and soft for Harjay. And I think Max Power is just going to try and get away from the rest of the field right on the restart when we do obviously get going. But a chaotic way to start off the season with a crash. Yeah, but on the safety conditions, we didn't even get to turn four before we had the first safety car of the season. Oh no! What's happened? Sim Simmer's lost it, I think. Simmer, Simmer. he's lost it and turned for Yeah, he's fun. He has no front wing. Yeah, I was on board with him actually, so I got a good angle, but he kind of lost it. Kind of like with Stappen, I don't know if it was at the exact, but he hit the pit wall. Kind of like with Stappen, but in the dry. So that's caused a bit of chaos. Once yeah, more, some more chaos. Yeah, if you can <laughs> see that clip and send me it later, that'd be very helpful. Because I think I was on board with Max at the time. I didn't get to see it. But Simba has no front wing now. He's going to have to come into the pits on this lap. But I'm pretty sure the safety car is coming in. So that's not going to be good for him. So they're all getting bunched up again. Where do you get going? As I think the safety car is going to come in this lap, which is not good for him, which yep. it is. Safety car is going to be coming in. As Mark is going to lead the restart here. When is he going to go? He's going to put his foot down soon. Question is, when does he? Still hasn't gone yet. He's winning all the way to the line. The Simba does come into the pit lane as well as uh, OVS fan, but he is gone now. He's gone exactly at the line. Who's got the better restart in here? Now there is chaos in the back and it's already starting the rain actually. The rain is already coming down one lap four Ooh. as Trolley's trying to hold it on the outside of Joseph. Can he make this stick this time around? I think 
could be three wide here. It's not. It's two wide, but we'll stay on board Owen because it's got a better shot as Trolley has to back out of it. He's trying to go for a switch back move on Joseph and he's trying for it, but it could be going wrong for him as Owen is trying to get on the inside of him during turn seven. And he has got three as well as Wolf getting in front of Rockle. But Rock trying to go over on the outside of it again. Contact the Alpha inside. Alpha Romeo collide. Alpha Romeo teammates colliding. That's not a good start <laughs> to this season. But the rain is already coming down as it is starting to rizzle at least for now. It's not sitting on the halo but the track is starting to get damper and damper even work time goes on question is who's going to pull off into the pit lane first max power stays out what about who's Owen? spawn someone's spun i think max stays out his trolley's trying to go for the move actually wolf has got up in the p3 onto the podium already but remember pit stops are going to be made soon enough because the rain is coming down yeah, yeah uh there was a bit of contact there rock uh rock hole went a tiny bit into the back there of trolley a bit more contact as it goes down the straight, Rockwell trying to move to the inside. He's almost being shoved onto the grass like Sebastian Vettel and Lance Stroll in 2022. But it looks like Rockwell has got through. Yeah, he's got on the inside. As Titan gets in front of Lewis. It's actually, he gets, there's a couple of overtakes down at the back. Just gets overtaken by Sam. He is down 10 positions from where he started in P2 on the front row alongside Max. Question is, can he go back right on the outside as Hodge overtakes Lewis? on the inside of turn eight. It's still chaotic in these opening laps, only on lap five, remember. Yep, the driver's struggling to get um, the traction down as obviously the rain continues to drizzle a tiny bit down. Let's see if we're gonna get two any by two you going through turn eleven, running off track goes Danny. He's trying to keep this overtake DRS getting near board so the shoots don't think it's wet enough just yet to keep the DOS off but I Jordan think it's going for it. yeah, Jordan, Jordan up the inside he's got two but he's wide and it's the switch back for Trolley and the DOS was open and now it's disabled again <laughs> yeah DOS being an earwood then disabled straight away as some drivers are into the pit lane I think Lewis is in what is he going on to he's on to those inters I think he is as actually I just realised Simba an AVS fan they came in for inters they didn't yep. come in for damage. Well, Simba had to, I think. But he was smart and made sure he didn't have to make another pit stop. As well as he trying to go around the outside of his teammate, almost hitting his rear, going through turn eight and towards nine. He can't close in just about enough to make an overtake, but still almost spinning Ooh. him around. He pushes him off slightly <laughs> and does get the overtake done. As the rest he falls down the pier with noise falling down the order. Has he got some damage? I don't know if he does yet. Yes, yeah, Sam's also and going through his back power. Going down the outside of turn uh, 12 and in towards 14. He yes. has got the overtake done as Wolf. Five second time penalty for speeding in the pit lane. Yeah, as everyone's coming lap. in. His Bibbon speeds as well. Uh, the only ones staying out at the moment, they don't want to double stack, is Owen, Trolley, Sam, and Oersi. They don't want to have the double stack as, as well as Joseph. He didn't come in either. As ev everyone else has come in, where will Simba be in all of this chaos? I think he's going to be coming around turn three now where is he gonna be he's gonna be in front of the alpine i think as they go side by side on the street he has got in front of him so from pitting on the safety of restart he's up to p10 now being smart about it as bibbon and titan go side by side through turn four but still side by side towards turn seven this is not gonna work Right, well, as uh, someone spun mind, who is that? It's Trolley, actually. He spun mind at turn 11 as well as Joseph. He spun at, that is on the entry to turn 10. Yeah, it's obviously getting wet, so the medium runners are uh, struggling, but uh, Owen is in, Sam is in, and they will surely all be in as it's getting far too wet for them to be out. 
Yeah, we're inserting a sec. As I've just got in on board of that, as Bevan spins round, and that's on the entry oh, no. to Francisco. turn 12. As what has happened for Francisco? He also, also spun. Yep. Joseph is still uh, out on the circuit. He's coming in now, but he was on the hards, obviously really struggling on the race track, but he's managed to come in. Yeah, I don't think anyone was expecting the rain to be this early in the race. It's come a lot more um, like fast paced than everyone else thought, as well as Titan. He said in the chat, be uh, roughly 17 laps in. I thought it was going to be midway point that we're getting rain. We weren't even a eight, an eighth of the <laughs> way in, and we got rain. Yeah, the rain started um, straight away falling. Uh, after the restars is that ultra titan trying one up the inside can't get the move done there and you'll have to sit behind yeah just having to sit behind for now going towards turn 10 very close up to the rear yeah getting very close i think as well uh that is a Delta glitch. I don't think it's just me though. Maybe you as well for Joseph and Danny. A gap between them two. It's sitting at for some reason two and a half tenth mark when it's more like yep. three seconds, I think. Yep, as there could be some action. White. Yeah, action down at the back. Trolley's trying to go for it. Andres again. He's not close enough for it. It's just losing the rear end, going in towards turn three. He is closing in rapidly as well as Titan. He's trying to go on the inside of turn four. Does Trolley go for it? He doesn't. He's just having to sit behind for now. As Wolf has had a disconnection. And he's sitting in P3 at the moment. That is not what he wants at all in this race. So he's going to be losing out here. This Titan, he's trying to go for it on a west end towards turn 10, but he isn't close enough to try anything just yet. Yeah, so the driver's following very closely. We're going to have another, maybe, um, some more action down the straight. As is a There's spin, trolley. I think, maybe. He spun again at turn 11 on the exit. As I did say before we got into... The the race turn 11 is going to be that point where you'd be spinning most but bibbon is on the back of francisco going going towards turn one can he get the overtake this time around 50 percent eos can he go for it he's trying to just sit behind for now breaking very early hoping that francisco just makes a mistake but type has got past the wesley on the straight he's up into p10 now and going through, he can't get back ahead. Yep. So, still the drivers pushing each other around these corners. Very tricky conditions, obviously. And I think, does Jono maybe have an opportunity for a late lunge? No, we'll just have to sit behind. But it's very close, and we'll have another opportunity down towards turn number one and turn number four. As around the last corner they come, or the last proper corner, uh, I should Wolf say. Wolf is also back into the session. He's been able to get in. Oh, Alex has left Trolley. He's spun again in turn 11. I told you, this is going to be the place you're always spinning, unfortunately. Max Powers left the session. The race leader's left. That's, I think, going to give Owen the lead, I think, now. maybe. Yeah, that could be giving Owen the lead here. What has happened now as well? I've just caught on. Rockle had a mistake on the exit of turn three. But he is back going again. Probably with a five second penalty for speeding in the pits, and he's retired as he well. He's retired it. And we're moments away from the lead changing due to Max Power disconnecting. Owen's about to take it. Yeah, this is the only, well, I'd say the only problem about cosplay is you can't always get back in unless you have a couple other invites, especially on if you're on the other platform. 
such as um I think our host is on Xbox while Mac is on PlayStation. But you're not he's trying to go for the move. As who is that spawn? He's on the grass completely going through turn eleven and through turn twelve. That is Jordan. As Wolf has left the session again. I think Jordan's just gone into the wall. I don't know if he is damaged or not. Can't tell from this uh, camera angle. Yep. There's quite a lot going on right now due to the wet conditions. A lot of drivers having spins as I think that's an opportunity for Jis to get past. Now down into turn number four, inside line. Can he get through the Red Bull? We'll try and hang it, trying to get the switch back. As we climb up the hill, won't be able to do it. Yeah, just up into the top ten. Nice, Jordan came into the pit lane. As well. As I am just trying to... See if I can pull something up of uh, the point system. It is same as real life, so that is okay for me to remember. As a worse, he is right. still on the back of Jersey's trying to get back in the top 10, the final points paying <coughs> position. But Sam looks to be closing in on you know, going in towards turn one, but they're not. Closing in just about enough to try any overtakes. Yep, could there be an opportunity now down the straight for Sim Barracks? I don't think he'll be a bit too far back on this occasion. What about Sam? Once again, a bit too far back. As that Francisco is a from. spin from Francisco, he's down to P69. That's not what he wants. In this, both Alpines are not having a good day here in tier six. But Sam is still on the back of the four car tree and now from P5 going to P8. And they could also get up to Wolf. I don't know if he's actually in the session or not. Uh, I would say he is. I'm not too sure. But who has spawned? It's McLaren and it's hard to... He's, these McLarens are also not having a good day after massive Ooh. contact on the first lap. And then a DNF from Alex. But Sam yeah, was trying to go for the move towards turn one. Can he send it on the inside? It doesn't look like he can just yet. Trying to hold on to P8 and making sure he doesn't spin at all. It's not what you want here. Is anyone going to try it in towards turn forward? No one does just yet. As who spun mine? That is Denny. He's done it turn two. As and I've just been on Jono. board with Jono. Who spins mine as well. Going towards turn six. Getting on the power far too early. Yeah, but Simbarrick's continuing to put AVS fan under pressure. And then, can he make it maybe a late lunge? He's gonna go for it. Will there be enough space for both of them to make their way through as we make our way into the last few proper corners of this racetrack? Trying around the outside. Can he get the move done? As he has been able to. What a sensational move in the wet conditions to get past. Yeah, holding on the outside of turn 11. Sam's also on the back of him, going down the straight. Can he get the move done? He has. As AVS fan pulls in the pit lane, is it getting closer to wet tyres? I think it is. I think this brain's getting far too heavy at the moment. Yeah. Let's see. What, what is the tyre going like? on to? It's inters. It's inters. Okay. He's on to another set of inters, so he doesn't think it's time yet. I don't know if it is getting closer or not, but the drivers keep spinning mine because the tyre temperatures are getting uh, too hot.
as the gaps have spread out again in the pack. The only closest battle at the moment is the battle for P14 between AVS fan Francisco and Denny, but Francisco has just fallen out again. Both of them losing the rear end, going through turn five. That is not what you want. You want to have a steel rear end just to make sure you don't spin around. Yeah, to me the rain is getting heavier, so will anyone be pitting soon for wet? Yeah, rain looks to be getting very heavy. I mean, it is common in Brazil to have rain. Yeah, know. Yeah, but it's common as... Could Denny Boy maybe make a move? No, it's Francisco, Francisco coming in. Again. Keep an eye on what those tires are going to be, though, as I keep the battle for P5 going on. Still some Verox staying ahead of Sam Fennoy as he's trying to close wet in. Time. Full of wet. On to the wet. On to the yep. wet. Tires the full wet's not being used very often in F1 because they <laughs> say it doesn't um, kick up enough water. But I think that's how it as well had a mistake through turn five. He's losing out to Lewis as well. As Sami's closing in. Is anyone else going to pull into the pit lane? They go on to the wet, but Max is back in now. This is going to be good. He's getting back in. He's still in P2. The AI staying on the track for him as that is Bibbon. He spun one. That's at turn 13. That's not what he wants at all. He's dying to P15 now. Is he going to come in? He is not. No one else is coming in at the moment. Keep an eye on those tyres. Remember, but Joseph, he's in. What is he going on to? Is the real question. As there was another spin, and that's Jizz. He's no, it's I. Right. It's not Jizz. It was BRT Wolf. Uh, Sam is putting him under pressure now, and he's going to get through as the Mercedes runs wide off the wall. And could oh, the and he's, he's, get he's spun wide. He's on the grass. Not what he wants at all. Especially in turn nine, because you could be reset the track as Joseph is on to the wet. And I have the pet lane now. Yep, yeah, disappointing for him. As now, let's see this lap. Will anyone be pitting for those wet tyres? Is anyone going to pull the plug and come into the pet lane? Williams, no. Ferrari, no. No. I don't think anyone's coming in. No one's coming at the moment, but we do see Danny. He's on the back of Bibbon. Three turn 12. As the two drivers on the wet tyres go side by side through turn nine. Yona is actually in. Is he going on to the full wets or not? He is on the full wets. It looks to be time. It's getting very heavy here. Yep, the conditions are treacherous. Now very full wet says now Denny Boy right on the tail he's literally pushing him through turn number three he'll get the inside line now towards turn number four ERS usage as well let's see can he get the move done as we go into turn number four trying to keep it to the inside they're gonna go side by side and it looks like the Alpha Tari is wide and he was trying to hold the position can't though as he runs wide through four and Denny Boy has got through and he's up into 12th position yep up in the P12 now as I think that's Luce struggling a bit. Lewis struggling. As talking about struggling, Denny half spin for him allows AWS fan to get back past. It's AVS, by the way, not W. Oh, I have a, am I not <laughs> reading correctly? Okay, I need to make sure. <laughs> okay. Yeah, AVS. I need to. I'm, I can't read today. <laughs> as Jordan is spun wine, and he's also been lapped. He's been lapped by Owen. 
That is not what you want at all. Especially when he hasn't pit. Actually, no, is he still in the session? Actually, no, he's just getting ghosted because of lap cars. But then he's got back in the P12 ahead of AVS fan. Sam on the tail, currently, of the Williams, as well as you make our way. Drew! As uh, Bibbon, actually both them running very wide though, you know, and Bibbon, both running off track. So who's actually going to have the position? It's going to be Bibbon for now. As we do look to the battle for P4, but who's spun line? That's Francisco. And he's been laughed as well. It's not what you want in this. This at all. But Sam and Hamas going side by side towards turn one. Who's going to have the speed to make the overtake? Who can defend even more as as well this time goes through and takes the position off Simbarox as well yep he's done a 2 for one there as Danny Roy he's trying to go on the outside and he gets it done but literally trying to come back and we can't do it yet Titan now will be trying to get past Sam can you stay right on the tail? If he gets a good exit, maybe you'll be able to produce a late lunge. Seven's into the pit lane as well. What is he going on to is the real question. It's the full wet tyres. Yep, into the final corner with Ultra Titan. Not the best exit, and he's lost some time to Sam on that occasion. He was running very close, but won't be able to make the move this lap unless he gets a good exit out of the Senna S and maybe down towards four. Yeah, both Haskell is trying to overtake at the moment, as that is Jordan. He's retired in the pit lane. Yep. Is Danny almost losing the rear end there? That wouldn't be what he wants. As well as AVS fan being overtaken by, you know, I think those wet tires are comes. coming into play. As Danny yeah, goes down the inside of RJ, getting the move done. Can he stay ahead though? Going through turn three and heading on to the second straight. I think he has got it, but as AVS fan has spun one, that's it. Turn two. And he has no front wing. He's going to have to pit again. That's unfortunate for him. As Jono gets the overtake down on Louis as well. Going in towards turn four. It looks like those breaths are turning on. More and more now. As the rain is still coming down. If you look on board with RJ. That rain is settling completely on the hero. And just on the car itself. Yep. As a HBS fan being overtaken by Joseph as well. That's not what he wants. But remember, they're going to be lapped soon by Owen at this rate. As you know, also gets past RJ. I think those inters are gone now. You need to remember Simba Rocks, he was the first man to pit on to the Inters. They're 18 laps old. They won't be lasting much longer than this. Oh no, Hodges into the wall and he has also damaged his front wing as well through the center S. Spinning around. And is it that much damage to the front wing? I think I saw something fly off. Might have been mm, my nope. eyes. He tries. But Danny, he did spin on the straight. I think he got on the fire far too early. And he lost the position to Louis again. Yep. 
Yep. As Wolf and Jez, they collide. That's Dino at turn 13. And mm. Jez is into the wall. That's not what the two teammates should be doing. A lot of teammate war today, looks like. Yeah, quite a lot of it. As... This Jay being overtaken by Joseph as well. He is not having a fun time out in those enters. I think it is completely time for the full words. For the way in, it looks to be dying down. I don't think it's burning as much, but it's still on track. Well, could we get a possibly back to dry maybe? Oh, is Hard J almost losing it once again? But he has he's lost it. it. He did lose it slightly. He does yep. pull off in the pit lane, and he's also been lapped by Owen. It went up to P14 at the moment it's been lapped, so that's how J Francisco Bib and an ABS farm. Question is Does Owen pit? That's how J he's under the new set of winters actually, he's not under the wets. Wolf so, still on the back yep. of Oasi. Oh, I see losing the VON slightly there. Who's going to be faster down the straight? Neither of them pulling off in the pit lane as well. One lap 24 of 36. 12 more laps to go as Francisco getting himself a time penalty for the track limits. is not going to do him any good, but it doesn't make any effect at the moment as he is on the grass there. That's starting at turn 9. And he's also been lapped by Max. Yep, Wolf having a little snip, but can't make the move up the inside of four. As he gets on the curb, oh. then he spun right, and he is out of this race now. Oh, is that going to be causing car? safety cars? Jez does take a three second time penalty for track limits. Car. Safety cars out now, but some drivers Big are crack. lapped. But we have, yep. who do we have lapped? It's a uh, Francisco Nine. So that's going to be really good. That's going to come into effect with the other drivers. Unless they have to fall all the way down. As Rocco, he's into the pit lane. What is he going on to though? That is the real question. He's on to another set of enters. So I think yeah, this win is dying down. Yeah. Could even go down to Slicks maybe in the last few laps? We don't know. I uh, think it may be a bit delicious. <laughs> I think I think I'm a little bit too far at the moment. Yeah. Because <laughs> if you look Part on board of Titan, it's staying on the halo. The wind's still coming down. The track looks to be a little bit drier than before because there's not those massive puddles anymore. But it does come out. Waco comes out in front of him on New Yentos. But one lap 25 of 36. The real question is when. If people are pitting, what do they pit onto? As Juno stays out on the wet, Jizz is on for a new set of enters as well as the and in Cimbalox. And Sam, and I think everyone else has gone back on enters if they've been on wet. What is Joseph been for? As well as Louis, what are they coming in for? We'll see Louis first, he's on the two the uh, enters as in. well as Joseph, he's on the enters. As Joseph, uh, not Joseph Owen, comes in the oh. pit lane and speeds as well. Max stays out. So Max takes the lead on 19 lap old me the uh, not mediums actually. Interest. Those are enters. This is gonna be a banging finish then. So let's actually see, can Owen stay in second as... I think he'll just be able to. He's gonna be close actually between them as they get out today. So it's gonna be Rockhall who's got through. So Owen down into third. And also bad news for him as he's also got a time penalty as well. Yeah, speeding the pit in is not always fun, but the thing is, I think he could come in one more time and not be the back. 
as Orasi speaks and in Red Bull double stocking. Because one of them needs to come in for a new front wing, which is Orasi. And it's a new set of inters again. As you know, he's just going to have to sit there and wait. But he's also going on to inters. But he has a time penalty to serve as well. Other thing I've just noticed, there is Francisco in the way of Max and Wackel. Is it just me or you're getting Abu Dhabi flashbacks from that? Um <laughs> uh, well, drivers well, all well, to be honest, uh, well to be honest, uh, I've had as uh, um oh, and comes in. In. Yeah. yeah, well uh, actually I've had quite a few of like, after Abu Dhabi, I've literally been covering so many leagues with last lap shootouts. So I think it's kind of now not any, uh, I, I don't really feel that way anymore. As I've been, as I think I'm, as I think I have to comment it over too many last laps, uh, deciders. Yeah, you've got too many last lap deciders, but the thing is, it's not the last lap decider that I'm talking about. It's the fact that Francisco, the lap car is in the way of uh, Rocco staying in, well, P2 on track, because at the moment it's technically Francisco. Yeah. Think about it. As Owen, he comes out and he's only P6. So that is actually not bad for him. I think that was smart for him to pit for an another set of enters because he would have got rid of his time penalty and he only comes out in sixth. Yes, he will have four lap cars to get out of the way, but that's not going to take too long because I'll have to stay out of the way anyway. Yeah, well, at least it gives, an, it gives him an opportunity to at least fight uh, um, uh, rather than um, like overtaking them and then getting a penalty. Safety car's coming in this lap. Not everyone's caught up as well. Yeah, so this is a bit... Look where your nose. Well, actually, uh, now I'm kind of feeling a tiny bit like Abu Dhabi. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> As if you see where Max is compared to where Rocker was, and that oh, Joseph time penalty for the track limits. When is Max going? He's already got that one safety car he started. It's going to be a second one here. When is he going? And it is going to be at the line again, and he has gone. Has he got the the uh, restart this time around? Is Titan? He's going to try to go for it on the outside this time around. He can't go for it yet. He is trying for it though, but who's spun round at the back? There is contact, and I think that it may be uh, Francisco. He was wrong, and he's dying to P15 as Owen. He does go for the overtake on Sam. Can he get it stuck this time around? Staying on the outside, holding on to it. He has got it done, but as it well, it's just he's got the position up on him. He's up in the P6 now, on the inside of turn seven. He's held it. He's just holding on to it. As Owen has done the inside of turn seven, and on the inside of turn eight, he keeps that position, and he is in to P4 again. He's two more cars, and then he's right on the back of Max again. Yeah, good start. Good restart for Owen, and it's gone the way the way he wanted for him. He just has to get past two more cars. Jason Simber going side by side there, both of them making contact with each other. Oh, more well. contact, but not too much to cause too many troubles. As Owen has an opportunity down into turn number one. He's going to go for it, and he's going to try it, at least on the inside of turn one, but he backs out of it. And just sitting behind for now, what at about least. Danny boy? No. Danny doesn't go for it either, but there was two lap cars in the way of Jizz. He's getting... Um, he's ghosting through them. The problem is, as well, he's getting tangled with it. Yeah, Owen getting a very good line and may have an opportunity to make our way up the hill now. In towards Pretty turn tough. 7, can he go on the inside again? He can't yet, he's going to have to wait to turn it at least. Going down the inside, he's going to send inside. it, he's got it done. Can he hold it though? Turn in towards turn 9, Titan doesn't have the run on him this time around. So he has to give it up. 
Yeah, while this goes on, Rockhall also putting Max under pressure. We also have the battle for the lead going on. And I think Owen is gonna, gonna try his best to close in and join that battle. This is gonna be quite the finish in our season opening race. Right, let's see this lap. Are we gonna get any overtakes? Not yet, I don't think, unless Joseph can go for it on Louis down the inside of turn 12. They are still that far back, remember? Due to where the safety guy came in, as Joseph down towards turn 1, he's got the overtake. Enabled. He's got the ARS on. He's going to try it down the inside of Louis, but he doesn't. He backs out of it, having to just sit behind the Williams driver for now. And he is just staying behind, holding on to P11 as Rocco. He's within six tenths of Max, the Austrian, having to fend off from the Ferrari driver. He's just having to hold him back. One lap 30, we're going to go on to lap 31 soon, we'll have six laps of racing left to go. Yeah, this is going to be a very tight finish. Rocco will need to get a tiny bit more close though, if he would like to make a move on any of the straights. He's going to be using the ERS down into one, but will he be close enough? He will be gaining. But obviously there is no DRS in these conditions unless it becomes like very dry. Uh, very quickly and then uh, DRS can be open on As we make our way through the center S with the top two Rockhall I think will be a bit too far back once more Yeah within four times though he's closing in and he isn't close enough just yet As Owen he's within 1.79 That's hard, Jay. Three second time penalty for track limits. Yep, now Rockhall is putting the real pressure on and he will be giving his all now. And he, know, and he knows if he wants to win this race, he needs to get through because guess who is coming? Owen is closing in. It's going to become a three car battle for the lead in the intermediate conditions in Brazil. Ooh, sliding it through turn 11 there, but he is holding on to it. The gap's moved right to 1.3 now, but he had held on to it. Going through turn 11, that was a big snap for him, drifting it through, almost like Max Verstappen style. Yeah, Rockhall has closed in quite a lot December, into one, but... going on the inside of turn one, he's gone for it. Has he got the position, though, on Jits? He's having to sit behind for now. He's in the lap car there as well. That's going to be annoying their vision. He should have to go out of the way due to the blue flags. As the battle for the final points paying position... He's still ongoing as Joseph is trying to go for the overtake on Louis, but he can't get on the inside or even hold it on the outside. But he do need to remember that he is a time penalty, so that's going to play into a massive effect of this. As RJ, he's up to nine seconds now with that one. Simba, he's trying to close in, which is again, but they can't get overtakes done here. I think the track is drying. There's no more yep. rain coming down. Who's spun that RJ? He's down at turn 11. The rain stopped. The track is drying. I think these tires are overheating. Yep, do remember also, Max Power has 26 lap old tires. Rockle has eight lap old tires. And um, some of the laps were done under the safety car, of course. Simba on the, the inside, sorry, uh, sorry to interrupt you, interrupt you, but no. Simba's done the inside of Jizz and he's got the position done for P6. Yep. Yeah. He's think, going, trying to go back on the inside. Wheel banging between them, he's going to hold it. He's down the inside and he's going to go for a switchback move on him. He hasn't got it though. As Yano he get, Yano gets another time penalty. Actually, that's his first. Yeah, Owen also closing in now inside 
that one second on rock hole. Obviously there will not be any DRS yet, but if it does dry up so quickly, then you never know. We could have maybe a last lap with DRS. You and never Joseph, know. This is gonna be he's interesting. He's into the top ten. Joseph is into that final point playing position as Jono. He's trying to go on the inside of turn eight, but he hasn't been able to do it yet. As Rock, he's trying to close in. Who spun wine? It's RJ again. As Simba, he's got the move done. And Jizz, there's no EOS left in that tank for him. Gonna go down towards turn number one again. One up 34, three laps to go. Contact between the pair of them, neither wanting to give it up as he's just having to stay back. Yeah, Giz wanted to go to the inside, but it was covered off by the Williams Dara perfectly. Will there be another opportunity now as we make our way down towards turn number four? Late launch, maybe to the inside? No, has to stay behind. As Diano, he's gone on the inside turn one and he has got the move done for P11. At this rate, he also is actually going to get a point in this race as long as he can extend that gap. Zimbaros is a tiny bit wide. Giz is going to go down the inside. It's going to get very close between them as they make their way through. The Williams Darrow Zimbaros will have the inside line side by side. And he's hold it on but there's a late lunge coming from Giz as well and he's now going to try and push his rival and he's going to try and get the position around the outside now can he get it done as he sweeps in just ahead of his rival and he has got through yep he's up in a p6 again but he still has that time penalty to his knee him that's not me helping him one motor and lap of this race now Second last time we're going to rewind the circuit in into Lagos as Hojo spun again last turn 10. As Owen, Ooh. he's trying to go for this move noise within four tenths of a second. He's trying for it, he's not closing in quick enough though. He's trying for it, he's within two tenths. Yeah, Rocco doesn't have enough ERS to be challenging for the race leaders. RJ, another penalty, and he's retired in the pit lane. But Owen matters. Owen, very close, and he'll have an opportunity into turn number one. Yeah, I was trying for it, but he's going to have to go towards turn one if he wants to try and get up in the P2, but he has secured this podium for now. As you know, yeah. gets another time penalty. Yeah, Owen used a lot of curb uh, coming out of the final corner, obviously, as he wants to be as close as possible, but it doesn't look like he's too close as we go to one. And we're on to the final lap of this race now. Final time, we're going around the circuit. Who's going to be able to secure these final points paying positions? Francisco is into the pit lane. Are those for the dries? Because this track looks completely dry. It does. Maybe one last... On He's the on to the, he is on and to Owen. Owen gets himself a time penalty. He can't. He won't be able to get P2 anymore. The highest he can get is P3 as long as he makes zero mistakes. Here comes Sam to the inside line. Trying to go and Fedu. I think it is Fedu Duma, but trying to make the move can't do. He can't get that move done and tighten yet. As Jersey spun wind at turn eight. And he's losing out in positions. He's dying to P8 now. Is he going to lose another one? It doesn't look like he is, but he has time penalties to his name still. So now, Sam, he's going to try to go for it on Titan. But we're going to look to the front of this field as we see the Austrian. He's got the pole position. He's led the race. He's on 29 laps old tyres, but he wins in Brazil in round one of season. 14 and he does take that win even starting on pole dropping out of the session staying on those enters for 30 laps as rock out takes p2 and owen will take p3 in this race an intense final couple laps yep as we're just waiting for uh, Louis across the line and he does get into P11 with Yono's penalty but it is going to be Francisco the final man across the line DOS has just been enabled as well
that even after a disconnect, that didn't stop Max from winning here in Brazil. 30 lap old enters. How has he done that? Sensational. Got put under pressure, but was able to keep it. And on to the podium now. He's going to be very happy with that one. And stepping up to the top step. To take that trophy. The one he wants his hands on straight away. He's going to be happy about that one later on tonight. So your final results here in Brazil, and it is the Austrian, the Aston Martin driver of Max, taking the win here tonight by just over two seconds to Rocco and P2 and Owen winning on the podium even after a time penalty to his name with Titan, Sam, Simorox, Jez, Danny, O.C. And Joseph winding out your points paying positions, then your final finishes Louis, Jono, AVS Fan, Bibbon, and Francisco, and your non finishes of Ohio J, Wolf, Jordan, Trolley, and Alex not being able to even complete that one lap due to the crash on the exit of turn three. Crazy race. Crazy but epic. Good way to start the season also with... We said weather would play a part and it absolutely did in this race. Quite a few spins and a lot of overtaking at the end with the late safety car which gave us a brilliant finish in Brazil. Yeah, that has been everything for myself and Ome here in Brazil. Hopefully, we'll see you all next week. Actually, where are we going next week? <laughs> I honestly um, don't know the calendar. Oh, we are going to Coda. A very going... wide circuit? No, so... actually, that's the wrong circuit. That's the wrong how Actually, no, we oh. are going to Coda. Anyway, I was looking at the PC Tier 1 calendar, but it's still the same, basically. Just a tiny bit different towards the uh, mid season, I think. Yep, uh, white that's... circuit cutters. Yeah, so very white, especially up towards turn one, which could play into effect and bring some chaos. But that's been everything for myself. And I'll meet to see you all next week in Coda. Goodbye and good night.